Hello, I'm Dr. Kevin Rome, president of Lincoln University, and welcome to another episode of What's Up LU. Today I'm joined by two esteemed members of the Lincoln University community, Dr. Joe Simmons and Willie Jude. And we're going to have them tell us a little bit about themselves, and we're going to have a casual conversation. So let's see what we're in store for today. Dr. Simmons. Thank you, President Rome. Um, I came to Lincoln University from North Carolina in 1968, and I worked at the university for 38 years. When I came to Lincoln, I came as a biology and chemistry teacher in the laboratory school. And when I retired, I left the office of the vice president of academic affairs and provost and the vice president for the office of advancement. Okay. Wow, that's a pretty long relationship with Lincoln University, so we're fortunate to have you here. Thank you. And Mr. Jude. Yes, thank you, Dr. Rome. My name is Willie Jews, as you stated. I serve as Special Assistant to the President uh, for Fundraising and Executive Director of the Lincoln University Foundation. And I, too, arrived at Lincoln from North Carolina uh, in August of 2013, so I'm in my second year. I'm trying to work on that 38 years, and, <laughs> and I don't know if I have the skills that to have you know, such experience as Dr. Simmons here, but it's definitely been an exciting time since my arrival on campus. The Lincoln University family, the alumni base, the community have been very, very welcoming, and we're just excited about all of the things that are, are, are coming and all the things that have been accomplished thus far. Well, I guess North Carolina was a pretty good place because I arrived here <laughs> from North Carolina as well. But we have a pretty big event coming up for Lincoln University. What's that event that's about to happen? That event is the President's Gala. And it is a fabulous event. And the sole purpose of this event is fundraising so that we can give scholarships to our students. And for us, and I am a member of the foundation board, it is about the students. Many of them coming to Lincoln University uh, are not always able to finance themselves. They are trying to work two jobs, trying to go to school full time, and that's quite a task. So through the foundation and with the fundraising from the gala, we would be able to help many students that otherwise would not be able to get an education at Lincoln University or any other institution. We consider it a privilege and we also consider it a job well done when we can say to a student, you have a scholarship. You can drop one of your jobs. <laughs> you can spend more time studying. And we want you to graduate in four years. Okay, that's a great message to send them. How long has this, found, has this gala been happening? This gala, the gala itself started under the presidency of Dr. David B. Henson mm -hmm. for two or three years. And then it went dormant for a year or so. And then with the onset of President uh, Mahoney, then we went back into the president's gala and some 13 to 15 years, we have okay. actually had the President's Gala. Wow, that, that, that's really great for our students. And Mr. Jude, um, this comes from the foundation. Exactly what is the Lincoln University Foundation? The Lincoln University Foundation is the charitable organization for Lincoln University, serving as the fundraising arm, the 501c3, that we process all private gifts to the institution. And as Dr. Simmons, Simmons uh, stated the foundation with regards to this special event we've contributed well over three hundred thousand dollars directly to student scholarships within the last five years and so it was exciting to have a foundation board and the leadership of uh, Ms. Uh, Senator Rita Days is a hundred percent giving from the board so they're committed not only to their gifts but to their time and Dr. Simmons is on campus all the time whenever we need them but we want to make sure that uh, through the foundation, we're able to provide even more opportunities. And this gala has served as a conduit to say, we are connected with the community, campus, alumni base, because we're all in this together. Lincoln University, as the capital's university, we're committed to success. And the success of our students is not only great for the institution, but it's also great for the community. And so they're our greatest assets. So uh, the foundation has been taking the charge on a number of projects and we're just continuing to grow and move forward. Okay, so what happens at this gala? 
at the Gale is a fun time. <laughs> um, through the foundation and Lincoln University, we recognize many people that have either spent a number of years as an employee or a community-based person that has, or organization that has contributed um, many, many dollars over the years for the purpose of scholarships. And those who have been trailblazers in their own right to assist Lincoln University with fundraising and giving donations and any other type of experiences that they may have. Some of them I have known in the past who come to campus and teach a course, particularly in the School of Business, and they were talking about entrepreneurship and, and give their experience to the students. But uh, it has been a fun time recognizing people for the hard work that they have done over the years, um, getting the funds for, as we have said, for scholarships. We may even get to hear Mrs. Rome sing this year, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I understand she did last year. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, we may end even with uh, some dancing going on. Okay. If Mr. Jude will allow us. <laughs> oh, we, we want to make sure that we're, we're dancing. It's an awesome time from the minute that you drive up to when you walk in. We make sure that this experience is, is the ultimate experience from the receptions to the silent auction to the dinner to the service. Listen to the, the best jazz band in the land, our very own, under the direction of Rhonda Harper and the LU Jazz Ensemble, uh, our music, our gospel choir, I mean, not our gospel choir, but our chorus, choir, excuse me, edit, our, <laughs> <laughs> with regards to the direction of Ms. Gamlin Green, our university choir. And so we want to make sure we're t uh, uh, highlighting our students, highlighting our best. And this year's theme is LU in motion because our students are on the move to do great things, and so is our university. Now, where does this gala take place, and when is it? The gala will take place in Jason Hall. Some may refer to it as Jason Gymnasium, <laughs> but when you arrive there at the gala and you enter, you will not recognize it as a gymnasium. <laughs> That's right. It is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Our staff, the staff at Lincoln University, we do a fantastic job re retrofitting and making it first class for all concerned. Okay. And I think that would be March the 28th? March 28th. Is that a Friday, March 28th? Saturday night. Saturday. That's Saturday, a Saturday, March night. 28th. Yes. So if I want to attend, what do I need to do? So if you want to attend, you can first just give us a call uh, at 681-5056. Uh, and we will be able to process any uh, registrations. Tickets this year are only $125 to go towards support of our deserving students. You have the opportunity for a table, which is only $1,000. And then we have sponsorship opportunities that range from $1,500 anywhere to $10,000. Uh, and, and then we have other opportunities, but we want you here. All alums in the area, alumni, community, we need you to come out and support uh, this worthy cause, but it's just a fun time as well. We we're looking for you. We want to make sure that you are happy and proud to be a Lincoln alum. And we think that we will accomplish that through this event. Go also make sure you visit the website, www.lincolnu.edu. And as soon as you log on to the page, you'll see LU in motion uh, that will have our honorees. You click on the banner and it'll be able to easily register as well. So you can call or go online and we look forward to seeing you. It's Let the only thing going on that night, I think. So, hey, you have to be there. Let me make sure I understand this correctly. For a measly $125, I can support a student and get a meal and be, attend a party. Or for a small amount of $1,000, I can purchase a table and invite some of my friends to attend. Nine of your closest friends. Nine of my closest friends. Or even through sponsorship from $1,500 or whatever amount, I can become a sponsor for the event. But at the end of the day, the resources go to support Lincoln University students achieving their goal of higher education. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. That is, that is correct. Well, I know that Ms. Rome sang last year, and I don't know if she'll sing this year, but I enjoy hearing her sing, so maybe, maybe she will. But, uh, and there's dancing, and, and how are students involved in this event? 
our current students? So our current students are, will serve in a variety of ways. You'll see them as hosts and hostesses. Hostesses, we'll also have them on the program. So we, we have some special things besides just the performances. So we're excited. We want to give you all the, the goods too early, but they will play a vital role because we want to make sure that we are showing our best. And this year, there are a lot of students who attended last year that are excited and trying to make sure that they're able to be in attendance, which, is, which makes perfect sense for knowing that the students want to attend. And if you can attend on that Saturday night, which there's nothing else going on on this Saturday night, we've checked all of the calendars. If you can't attend, you can sponsor a student to be able to attend so you can still make your impact. But you don't want to miss this event. I mean, last year with the dance troupe, uh, with the band, there was the, the highlight videos, everything was student-led and student-focused. And so we're just excited to be able to keep moving and keep focusing on the students because they want to obtain this higher education, this uh, education, and we believe that when they're here, we want to expose them to as many things as possible as they matriculate through Lincoln University. Now, how many scholarships does Lincoln University give out each year? What's the number of scholarships? Well, last year, we, um, from through the foundation, we had over $240,000 of scholarships that were awarded. And so through our process, we have over about 80 to 100 scholarships that students are eligible to apply for between the university and the foundation. And it's just been exciting. It's very competitive, very competitive. I think we had well over 300 plus applicants just last, last year alone. So it's very competitive. Well, that's absolutely wonderful what you do for the students. And I want to thank you both for all that you do for Lincoln University and for our students. And in our fundraising efforts, I encourage all of you to consider, and not just consider, but to attend Lincoln University's gala. And that's on March 28th at Jason Gymnasium, but it won't look like a gymnasium. So thank you for coming, and we look forward to that event. Thank you, President Rome. Thank you, President Rome. The Boys and Girls Club works to enable all youth, especially those who need us most, to reach their full potential as productive, responsible, and caring adults. Success is within the reach of every young person who enters our doors. We work with youth to ensure they achieve academic success, develop good character and citizenship, and have a healthy lifestyle. Boys and Girls Club of the Capital City, while some doors just open, our doors transform. Great futures start here. Find us online at bgcjc.com and like us on Facebook. We're proud to be a United Way partner agency. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Kevin Rome, president of Lincoln University. We're always in motion at LU. New faces, changing spaces, novel ideas. Join the celebration as Lincoln University alumni, friends, and family gather on March 28th for the 13th annual Lincoln University President's Gala Awards and Auction. Enjoy a night of dining and dancing with us in Jason Hall on our beautiful campus and we will be featuring the best entertainment Jefferson City has to offer, our student showcase of talented musicians and dancers. You can contact the Office of Advancement for tickets and information at the number and email address listed on the screen. Thank you for supporting Lincoln University. Hi, I'm Trish Rockers with Homemaker Healthcare. Homemaker Healthcare is a not-for-profit United Way agency providing home health and in-home care. We provide services to seniors and disabled individuals in their own homes. We care for around 400 people in 19 counties. We do this so that you can get the care that you need and remain safe and independent in your own home. We can provide nursing, physical therapy, caregiver services. We also prepare meals, assist with medications, and supply respite care to you or your loved ones. I'm Ann Littlefield. I'm Claudia Kehoe. And we're here to represent the Food Bank of Central and Northeast Missouri. Over half of the Missouri students qualify for free or reduced lunches at school during the week. But on the weekends, many children go home to empty refrigerators. The Food Bank provides buddy packs, backpacks full of nutritious food, so over 6,600 hungry children have food on the weekends. But the need is much greater. Will you help? When you adopt a buddy, you reach out to a child in need. Your 50 cents a day will make a difference in a child's life. 
visit www.sharefoodbringhope.org or call the food bank, 573-474-1020 to adopt a buddy. Family Counseling Center of Missouri offers a number of therapeutic and psychiatric services at 204 Metro Drive. Our mission is to improve the quality of life for individuals, families, and communities by helping people make positive changes in their lives and empowering them to make healthy and effective choices. Our focus is building healthier lives together. Call 573-634-4591 or visit us online at info at FCCMO.org. FCC is proud to be a Compass Health organization and a United Way partner agency. Welcome back and thank you for joining us for another episode of What's Up LU. I am Dr. Kevin Rome, president of Lincoln University, and I'm now joined with two employees from our development office, Chris and Laura, who will tell us a little bit about themselves. And we'll start with Laura. Thank you. I'm pleased to be here at Lincoln University. It's back home for me. I'm also an alum with a degree in political science. This is where I got my start. Okay. And so I'm happy to come home and give back. All right. All right, and I'm Chris Jones. I serve as the coordinator of annual giving and special events. Uh, yesterday, March 10, I celebrated my one year anniversary of being uh, at Florida Lincoln University. So it's been a very fast year. I learned a lot and still continue to learn a lot. And it's been great be being a part of the Lincoln family, going down to the community, meeting all the Jefferson City natives, and it it's just been great. So I am enjoying my time here. You know, as I go out into the community and I talk with people, and I was just talking to a gentleman today, he said, what do you actually do at the university? <laughs> no one seems to know. So tell us a little bit about, we know your titles, but what does that actually mean? What do you do? And what, how does it impact the students? Go ahead, Chris. Go ahead. Well, uh, but as, as an annual giving officer, you're basically just identifying, soliciting, cultivating new donors. So it's all about getting funds for our students, which are our greatest assets. So just being able to provide them with resources and funds to offset some of the expenses that, it, that they incur when, you know, attending college. Okay. And for me, I'm a little bit of a veteran in the fundraising world, mm -hmm. and so I feel like what I do is plant seeds for the future and grow mm -hmm. gardens. And for me, it's really about planting those seeds to develop later on for students. And here at Lincoln University, I help identify major gift prospects, look at new partnerships in the community, and really help find the common ground where the community and the university can come together for the betterment of our students. And so recently, I went on a solicitation to a major company, and I brought one of our students, Grace, who transferred here from California. She loves rural Missouri. She's gonna be attending our nursing school, and so she was able to come and give a first-hand testimony of her experience here at the university. And I think that made a real difference for the corporation to hear her account and listen to her experience here at Lincoln and how we're making a difference to her. Well, and so why do you do what you do? There's so many different professions and, and uh, opportunities. Why choose to do this? Just being able to make a just being able to make a difference. Just being a part of something that's bigger than yourself. I mean, it's a thankless job, so it's a lot of, lot of long hours. But you know, just being able to see a kid attend college, it, it makes it all worthwhile. I feel the same way. I would echo his remarks and I feel like the reward is ours because you do feel like you're making a difference in the lives of students and there's nothing that transforms lives better than scholarship dollars. And you're both relatively new to the Lincoln family as employees instead of students and so what has been unique? What have you found particularly interesting about the work and Lincoln University? For me I think that it's this time in particular is a transformational time. And so when you come into a university that's been here as long as Lincoln University has, but has new leadership, mm -hmm. new ideas, innovation, it sparks growth and change. And I think that that's the most exciting point for the community, as well as our internal community at the university, but for Jefferson City. They're very excited about the new leadership. They're very excited about the innovative ideas because that is what is that's what grows those seeds and plants those gardens for the future. Good, so am I. We're <laughs> <laughs> on the same page. <laughs> and to echo what, some of what she just said, it's just great being a part of, uh, as we embark on our 150th celebration, uh, just being, being a part of history, I feel like that'd be great. So just being able to kind of etch your, sketch your name in the history books and the, 
maturation of Lincoln University be a great opportunity to be a part of awesome. under great leadership. So I hear, and I just talked a little bit about this event that's going to happen here in a couple of weeks. What roles have you played and tell, what can you tell us about the, this gala? For me, reaching out to the community for partnerships, some new partnerships, um, some renewed partnerships, and so that's that's a big part of what we've been doing is um, looking at a lot of daily mailing lists, <laughs> reaching out to friends, community members, alums, and letting them know that this is a significant way that they can give back and help students today. And every dollar counts, whether you can attend, whether you can do a congratulatory ad, uh, a table, or even just a contribution. As someone says, I believe it only takes a dollar to become a philanthropist. Is that oh, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Every little bit helps. Just scrubbing the list, making sure everybody gets a piece of mail from us, letting them know about the gala. So it'll be no excuse for anyone. And as Willie said earlier, it's the only ticket in town that night. So mm -hmm. it'll be no excuse not to be here. So it'll be fun and great for everyone to be oh, here. A lot of people ask about this mm -hmm. event. And for the community, I like to say that there's no other event in this town. We have the hottest Lincoln University talent that there is. You can't find it anywhere else but us. So I think that it's a great night to feature our student stories and also highlight our talent. You can't find it anywhere else. So come hang out with us March 28th. It's going to be a fabulous event. And, and I'm sure it will be, and I look forward to it. But what are the types of events that we do throughout the year that uh, allow others to contribute to Lincoln University in some type of way. The golf tournament is also another big event that we do, and this year the golf tournament will be held at uh, Oak Hills Golf Cl Club, and it'll be on June 15th, and uh, we want to just thank the community already because we're seeing great support come in from the community already, and people are already talking about it and ready, ready to attend that event as well. Mm -hmm. President's tailgate is very mm -hmm. popular during football season. Um, a lot of the community members came. You saw a lot of um, elected officials come. And it's really nice to see those partnerships develop. Um, there's nothing greater than strength in partnerships. And I think that's what we're experiencing here at Lincoln. So the President's tailgate is another one. Homecoming, obviously. Mm -hmm. That featured a lot of local vendors here on our campus. Another, another way for the community to come together. And also be on the lookout for an event that we're coming up with called Lincoln Nights. Okay. Um, so hold tight. We don't want to give you too much information <laughs> about it, but it will be coming to a city near you. Mm. So just stay tuned for more information. So it sounds like you have a lot of different programs that are happening. So if I wanted to just send a donation or, or contribute, what are different ways that I can go about doing that? Mm -hmm. The, the, our website, lincolnu.edu, and we are getting ready to launch a brand new website for our foundation advancement efforts where um, users can go on and see our student success firsthand. Also mailing in a contribution, mm -hmm. 6815056 that to is, get Chris that Jones is my firsthand. Line. <laughs> <laughs> Call me anytime. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you're going to get a lot of calls now. Yes, sir. But you know, <laughs> what's rewarding, too, for corporations and our uh, phil philanthropic friends is to establish a scholarship. So you mm -hmm. can call me, 5099, and establish a scholarship for $10,000 annually. And that, that makes a huge difference to our students. Mm -hmm. Probably. And if I contribute, what, do I get a tax break? Oh, absolutely. I, what, what happens, we are a so? 501c3 tax, uh, nonprofit tax deductible or organization. So there's no better way to grow your philanthropic dollar than to invest in a student who's going to reach their degree and make a difference as, as a civilian and give back to our community. Okay. So for the students who receive the scholarships, um, is there any expectation from them? Do, what, what do they do once they receive these scholarships? Scholarship recipients often write a thank you note. They write a personal thank you note. And then during um, homecoming season, as I like to call it, uh, we have a, a foundation luncheon where actually our donors can meet the student firsthand that they're helping mm -hmm. make a difference to. And just simply just trying to link students. Say, for example, if you're a history major, we want to find an alum that was a history major and just link you with that, that, that professional so you can gain that professional development as a student. So that'll help you in the long run later on in life. So just trying to link students with their passion and help them. And that's a great point. It's not only dollars that make a difference, it's that mentorship. Mm -hmm. And we have a brand new career center. There's lots of opportunities for alums and community partners to give back to our students. Okay. Well, I, I've talked to several students and they go, well, how do I get these scholarships? What, what, what's the process for me to get a scholarship? Mm -hmm. 
Stars Online. <laughs> stars, stars Online. online. Yes, Tell me, what, what is Stars Online? It's basically just the process where, the, the, the introductory process where students just go on the website, Stars Online, and fill out all the information, uh, name, address, all that information. And um, yeah, and it'll link you with scholarships that you're, that, that you're eligible for, contingent upon, you know, your GPA. And there's also an essay component uh, in it as well. So. Mm -hmm. And the greatest thing a student can maintain is their GPA. That mm -hmm. will help them reach competitive scholarship opportunities. Because I hear a lot of students say, I want to go to college. I'm going to base it on whether I get a scholarship or not. Mm -hmm. So we want everyone out there to know that Lincoln awards several scholarships. Mm -hmm. And so with a very competitive, competitive scholarships, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. The best thing you can do is go to class and mm -hmm. maintain your GPA. And so for those local students who are watching this and going, I want to go to college, you really should go to the website mm -hmm. and look at the different scholarships that are, that are offered through for Lincoln University, right? Yeah. There's a home for them right mm -hmm. here in Jefferson City at Lincoln University. And there are scholarships based on where you live, mm -hmm. where you come from, your All major, the, yeah, what you're interested you. in. Mm -hmm. and, and apply early. The early bird always gets the worm, so apply <laughs> early. <laughs> okay, is there anything else that you'd like to add before we conclude this show? I would. Yes. If you're coming to the gala on March 28th, you need to come in a black tie or a bow tie because we believe you're rocking this bow tie pretty <laughs> well. And so there may be some other bow tie opportunities that evening, but please come and share in the evening with you, Mrs. Rome, our team, and come meet a student and see, see what a difference you can make to us here. Okay. Chris, anything? Thank you, Jeff City, for just opening your arms and just being so welcoming. And we look forward to seeing you at the gala. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining us for another episode of What's Up LU. You've heard a lot about our upcoming gala on March 28th at Jason Gymnasium, and we hope that you have an opportunity to attend. But if you can't attend, you can always give to Lincoln University. So thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you the next time.